Well, this is always one of my favorite episodes to do. And yeah, we have a lot of news out there, but we're going to talk about some of the best stocks to buy now that you out there believe have the capability of going two to three times. And for those who are not aware of this, of course, I'd like to come out here, ask you to go ahead in the comments, put exactly what stock you think has the opportunity to go 100% in the next 12 months. Put that stock down below in the comments. We're gonna call that next video the best growth stocks to buy now. It can be anything you think has the ability to double. Now, we got a lot of things going on right now. Uh, one of the things I noticed is that Walt Disney, for those who did not follow along, Disney had their earnings yesterday and absolutely exploded up. Coming down a little bit off of that, but the news was hot and I thought we could start with that one and then we'll move into the ones that you asked for and of course we'll go from there but man disney on fire is it one of the best stocks to buy now let's take a look uh pulling up the disney chart we'll have this up and running any t t you know the technical difficulties they happen all the time anybody that's on the live stream knows we'll pull them up though here goes disney so for those wondering disney was already in a bullish thing it's always funny to me because you know earnings are coming and all of a sudden, when it's absolutely just absolutely great, the numbers come out, they crush it. What do you see? Oh, days before the stock already started to take off like a rocket. 89 a share, all the way up to 99 a share within three weeks. Interesting how a stock can go up that much in that short a period before the announcement. And then of course the announcement comes out and the stock just blows up blows up six percent in the after hours just just exploded up now we move into the best stocks to buy now that you have talked about uh bud bud here we go bud let's start with bud we're going to be doing technicals on these is bud one of the best stocks to buy now i will say this about disney i've always been a fan i thought it could absolutely explode up again you are seeing that you are seeing that today now for bud what do you think on Bud? You can see that we confirmed yesterday. We confirmed. So the 15, the RSI confirmed, and now we're waiting on the EMAs one more day. That will confirm. So I would argue that right now Bud is extremely bullish. We will see how that turns out. But yes, the first one for the best stocks to buy now, extremely bullish. Now we got a penny stock. Is this the best penny stock to buy now? X4. Let's take a look. XFOR. Ah, let's take a look here. XFOR, is it one of the best penny stocks to buy now or not? Well, the good news and bad news. Good news is that it is in a bullish run right now. The bad news, of course, we are coming down to test the RSI 50 level, but uh, we broke off of the Bollinger Band all the way down. This could be setting up nicely for a continuation on the best penny stocks to buy now to move up. It did run from that 70 cent area all the way up to where we are now. I would tend to still be bullish on this, believe it or not, but I don't buy penny stocks. That's up to you guys. All right, next on the list, Mints, M-N-T-S. Let's see, is it one of the best stocks to buy now or not? Another penny stock. What is it with you guys in the penny stocks? Very, very bearish at this point for this one. Unlike the other one, we are way under the 50. Uh, you know, you had a little bit of reprieve, but no, I don't like that one. Uh, next one on the list from June 1st, EXTR. Remember, I only take one, so if you're going to put a bunch in there, do not do that. Only put one in there. This is an interesting one. Uh, why? Because the, uh, the RSI is way oversold. And you can see we went from 1351. We're kind of consolidating around 1230-something. Huge gap down from 1617. Wow, this thing got smoked uh, at this point. So it's bearish, of course. But short term, I actually think you're going to see a reprieve up back into the 13s uh, to release some of this oversold pressure. And then when was the last time we had something like that? Uh, I'd say right in here. You had that oversold pressure. Let's see if we can find something here. And come down here, right here. We had an oversold at this level right here, and it did run afterwards. So will that happen? Last time it was that oversold was 2020. All right, next, DAC. Is DAC a good one, a bad one? What do you guys think? Let's find out here. All right, yeah, taking a look at the technicals on this thing. We're bouncing off the 50. That is usually a good sign. We hit it, bounced up, coming down, tested again, bounced up, 
Tested again, bounced up. That's good. It's showing the bulls are strong on the 50 EMA. That is a good sign. Uh, the only bad thing is we did confirm on the RSI negatively. Uh, and you confirmed on the EMA. So at this particular moment in time, using the bread recipe, this is negative. So if you can stay above the 50, you're going to be all right. But if DAC absolutely breaks below 50 and confirms, this thing's going to absolutely get smoked, in my opinion. But for now, the 50s holding up a support. So we got a few things we're watching for. Next on the list, can you do BAH? BAH. I can do BAH. Yeah. If I can say it, I don't know. But all right. Buying, selling, what? Well, we got oversold right here, or overbought. You can tell right here, and it did come back down as normal. Uh, the RSI did drop down back into the 68 area. Still a little high, uh, but bullish for sure. Uh, nice little pop up. You got a little consolidation here going for three, four, five, six, seven, eight days now from this candle. Could be a couple more, but I would. I would absolutely expect that to continue moving on. Next on the list, let's go with Google. We're going to check this one out here. See how that's on because this is interesting. It got it pushed down to the 50. Didn't last long there. Been moving back up. Broke back above 50 on the RSI. I would say I'm extremely bullish on this right now. Uh, keep an eye on that one. All right, next. Can you do save? Absolutely can do save. Take a look at save. Is it one of the best stocks to buy now or not? Spirit Airlines is bearish. This thing, it got wiped out down to here and it's been going sideways since. Uh, it's consolidating off that massive sell and it is still in the bearish territory. So I'd be a, a scared to be buying that one. Uh, MPTI, 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 MPTI. Let's see what we got here with this. M, well, are we even gonna get an MPTI? Uh, right there we go. Uh, let's see. You know, the technical difficulties just continue to come in here, but we're going to get this to work. MPTI. There we go. All right. Next on the list here. What do we got? Well, we got a testing under the 50 again. It held at the 50 and now we're back above. So believe it or not, I'm actually bullish on this. The, you see the RSI break 50 again. The EMAs are starting to cross. I would think this could run a little bit from here. This actually looks like a decent one to get into for the short term. Apple, one of everybody's favorite. I'm trying to do a bunch of them today, family, if you see how fast I'm going. All right, now we're roller coastering with Apple. The good news is we are getting back up to the point of destruction. Everything's at once, the five, the 13, the 50, the RSI's at 50. This thing's about to do what? Well, it's gonna, it's gonna be a breakout one way or the other. I believe the breakout is going to be north. I think this thing's gonna have some love. Uh, next on the list, Meta. We know Meta exploded lately. Uh, let's see how it did since that explosion all the way up. It got 487. Since then, it has bottomed down to 470. It keeps moving down. Uh, and that's the thing. When you get in this overbought territory, and we still are in the overbought territory, you're not going to have a lot of people rushing to load the boat. You're going to see a lot of profit taken. So at this point, I would not be buying just because we're in the overbought territory, but we were here at 400 and now it's all the way up to 470 something. So, you know, it's up to you. Buyer beware when you're in the RSI is flipping all the way up there like it is. Roblox. This is always one I like. Roblox. Let's see what we got going on. Finally turning. Oh, wow. We hit the Bollinger Band. I didn't see this out here. Uh, I was going to say, finally turning bullish here. I didn't see how big this was. Wowzers. So this one is going to call for some consolidation, but then it's going to run up some more. I do believe this is a very nice looking uh, opportunity. All right. How about any, any, uh, so like any stock you want, any, here we go. Any, any, any penny stock. All right. So any at this particular moment in time is bouncing around the 50 RSI. We are bouncing all together here sideways. I do not have a direction for you on that one. Next, uh, we did we do NVIDIA? NVIDIA? He said NVD is a two time, negative two time. All right, we'll take a look. NVD. There you go. Uh, da, 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 NVIDIA. There we go. All right. So this one's getting smoked big time because obviously NVIDIA is just killing it. So when I look at this, this is what I say. This thing is so oversold, just like NVIDIA is overbought, that it is absolutely primed, primed to have a little bit of a run. But it is all the way down. This thing's getting, like I said, just getting smoked. Be the brave person to go out there in short or double, you know, double short or buy put options on NVIDIA when it's running. I'm not saying it's not a good time because I, I would have said that back in here, back when the price of this 
would have been 15, I would have said, yeah, you're in the oversold or the oversold area. But since that 15, it's all the way down to nine something. So goes to show you, it can stay down in that oversold, but eventually it will have its day in the sun. We're just not there yet. Wow, that is amazing. Well, wow, 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 wow. Uh, anyways, yes, so that's always one. Look into T, we'll look into T. Remember, put down in the comments below what you're interested in. For a stock that could double over the next 12 months, I will check it out. Uh, here we go. We're bouncing around with the roller coaster. I like this one. All right, AT&T, look. We bounced out the 50, rolled up too high, too fast, came back down, and the 50 is going to act as support. So if we hit the 50 again, and especially with the, uh, the RSI coming down to 50, I think we hold around here, around this area, and we'll bounce up another leg. So I do like that one. All right, family. If you have not done it, take advantage of the Moomoo link down below. You're going to get yourself all kinds of good stuff. What am I talking about? It's free stocks, first off. Deposit 100, get 5. To put 1,000, you get 15. You get them all. Look at the 8.1% APY, 5.1% plus the 3% for three months. That in itself is awesome. Uh, and then, of course, the software. If you guys haven't seen it, you can get the software that I use here on Moomoo for free, family. It's one of the best deals you can take advantage of. And you can come over here, set it up with the EMAs, the RSI, and the Bollinger Band. And come on in here and do your own research so you do not have to be out there depending on me or anybody else to tell you what the best stocks are. So absolutely take advantage of this. All right, family, that's what I got for you today. I do appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.